What's up guys, Carlos here, aka Lobo Films, and today I'm going to be doing a video breakdown over this recent edit that I did. So for this video breakdown, I'm gonna open up my Premiere Pro project file, kinda show you how I organize my timeline. I'm gonna show you my thought process for this edit. I'll go over some of the clips and some of the effects that I did in brief detail. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. And then I'll also kinda break down the sound design that I did for it. I actually did quite a bit for the intro on this one. And so I'll show you guys the sounds that I used, where I got them from, and I'll even show you how I like customize some of them to get them to sound a certain way. With that being said, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Right here to the left side, you'll see all of my clips and the audio. This is how I like to have all of my clips. So for instance, some people you may have seen, they do the list view, which is like this. And I fucking hate that. I don't know why, I just, I do not like working like that. So I like having the icon view and being able to look at all my clips, kind of scrub through so that I can see what exactly I'm working with. Another little tip, you might know this, you might not. Um, usually when I upload my clips, they're never in order. So then what I do is I go to this sort icons and I'll hit media type. And then it, it'll automatically put all of my audio first and then all of my clips second and they're all in order from the way I shot it so whatever I shot first to the last thing I shot and then up here you'll just see like whenever I make a nested sequence it'll throw it at the very top so let's get into the timeline so that's pretty much what it's looking like the sound design that I did for the very beginning of this whole video is pretty intense I did quite a bit pretty much what I wanted to do with this video. So the whole thought process for this intro at least was to show bits and pieces of the board being made. So when I play it, like the first, like I said, 10 seconds is just bits and pieces of every stages of what it took to make the board. So let's take it back a little bit and break down the sounds for this whole intro. So for this first, first clip to make it dramatic, I had this, um, sub hit that's what it was so let me single it out you can hear sub hit and all the all the green is like sounds that i found and i added my own anything that's in blue is actually the real sound so right here this is actually a darth vader mask sound um i wanted to give the sound of the guy breathing and um so yeah, I used the Darth Vader mask sound, but I had to tweak it a little bit. So what I did was I doubled it up. So you'll see right underneath it is another one. So let me play that one also. So see, hear the difference with both of them stacked together versus just that top one. Let me play that top one. So that top one, eh, sounds all right. Now let's single out the bottom one really quick. And now with both of them, gives it a little more depth. So what I did for these, um, this this top one right here, I added a delay. So a delay of 0.5 seconds, feedback 20%, and the mix 20%. So what that's gonna do is kinda like echo out the sound of him breathing. And then for this one, I added a low pass. Um, Oh no, actually I didn't add a low pass on this one. I added the pitch shifter and then I did a studio reverb. And with the pitch shifter, the studio reverb 
and the delay on the other track, having them both stacked up, just gave me a pretty cool sound and I liked it. Um, it's little things like that that you need to start trying to play with, experiment whenever you're doing your own videos and just see what kind of sounds you can get. So let's go further down here, see what else there is. And this is just the instrumental that I used, but right here you can see all the keyframes that I had set. So at the very beginning, I have it set to negative 50. I threw a low pass on it, set it to 900. Set another keyframe right here to f at right at 50. So I wanted to make sure that nothing in between these two gaps, like the music wasn't gonna start at all. I wanted it to be just all the sounds that I added. And then from here, I started keyframing little by little, having the music slowly kick in. Right here, I start making sure that, that the low pass starts fading out and it, and it starts going into the actual sound of the song. So let's check out what these two sounds are right here. We'll go with this one first. This is the sword blade. I got that off of Epidemic Sound. So I'll show you what that sounds like. One more time. And I didn't do too much to this one. I added a few keyframes. So right here, I have it set to negative 30. I have it set to negative 30, it comes in, you can hear it for a few seconds, and then it fades right back out. Threw in the pitch shifter, left it at default also. Um, but the only thing I messed with was the semitones and the synths. So this, what this essentially is gonna do is the more you go this way, the deeper the sound's gonna be. The more you go this way, the more like squeaky high pitch it's gonna be. Um, that'll work with voices, with anything in general. So then right underneath that one, I used, I believe it's a, yeah, it's a whoosh sound that I got online somewhere. I can't remember exactly. So then that mixed with the sword blade came out pretty cool. And then I used another, oh, I used the exact same whoosh again up here to come out so it whooshes in you hear the sword blades it whooshes out and it just gave it a pretty cool effect dope and for that clip when i did it so right here it comes in pretty quick i have this one playing at normal speed i believe yeah this one's at normal speed and then I slowed this one down by 30% and I used optical flow which if you don't know about optical flow I've used it before in one of my past tutorials if you watch the flash freeze um, effect video I talk about it and I go into detail about it so make sure you go check it out I'm not gonna break it down right now just for time's sake but I slowed it down and then we sped right back up into this shot of him laying out that the wax stuff. And what sound is this down here? Oh, this is another, oh, so this is a whoosh pulse sound. So let me single that one out really quick. And that's just to give it that more, more of an effect for when the blades are going across. So, Let's hear all of those together. Dope. And moving on. So let's break down these sounds right here. Um, this is a riser. It's called Arriving. I got it from Lens Distortion. 
and then right under it is Escalate, so that's another one from Lens Distortion. So let's take a listen to both of those. We'll do Arriving first, and then I'll do Escalate right after it so that you can hear how it starts rising up, rising up, and then it cuts out. And then let's do Escalate now. Escalate the same, the same thing, just a different sound to it, but it sounds cool. And then with both of them, it just gives you that much more of an effect. And then right over here, so this is the empty factory sound and I added that just so that there's more depth to the video. Um, you might not even notice it, but when, when you're editing and you have the headphones on, I, know, I notice those little sounds and sometimes those little sounds make it that much more better. Um, let's see what this sound is right here. Water dripping, so I used a water dripping sound just for this little droplet right here. So let's play that really quick. But again, if you listen to it all together, you hear it for a split second, but like I said, those little details is what matters. This is the sound of a blanket, so I got this off Epidemic Sound. Same with the water driplet. Um, let's hear the blanket sound really quick. Again, really quick. More raw sounds. And then again, right here, I used the Darth Vader mask sound. So what I did was pretty much just copied, pasted over here, dragged it out a little more. And this sound right here is a sub hit. So I have the sub hit right here just to like introduce this scene now. So it goes, cuts to black for a second, sub hit, starts introducing this scene. Again, here we come back with the Darth Vader sounds. And then right here, you'll see that it's a nested clip. So as this comes around, it starts revealing this shot right here. Here's all the keyframes, and you can see the path right here. Let me bring it down a little bit. So you'll see right here. So if you want me to do a tutorial over masking and stuff like that, I can. I'm not gonna go into any more detail over it right now because this video is gonna be long enough as it is. So right under, so that that nested clip is our mask. Right underneath is this clip right here. So let's break down the sounds right here. Again, with that whoosh, and I double it up right here also. Dope. So I have all these quick cuts going to the beat of the music. Now for shots like this, for instance, let's see, C7845. Let me find it out here. Here we go. So let me go ahead and play this clip really quick. That's it. Now notice how I'm turning to the left. So on the edit, I turn to the left. reveals that and then it cuts to something else so let me see what this next clip is really quick 846 so this one I start from the right and turn to the left and it's just little things like that that make editing a lot easier if you kind of do it in camera already so let's play this clip one more time. And it happens so quick, I mean, some people might not notice it, but I pick up on all that stuff really quick. Um, right here I have another bass hit just to introduce him into the video. 
So he's coming through, about to start working on the board. So let's break down this little clip right here. So right here, I have it playing at normal speed. Comes in. I slowed it down to about 60%, again, using optical flow. So he comes out and then we have it switch right back in. So it's like a little speed ramp through here. And then again, right here, 40%. I didn't use any optical flow though on that. I didn't actually need it. So let's break down these sounds right here. I think it's just a normal short sub. So this is kind of like a whoosh. Um, let me play that for you real quick. And then right here was the, the other whoosh. And then I added, what is it? Disin disintegration crackle. I got that from um, Motion Pulse. So it's a sound pack. And since he's sanding it down, I thought it would be a pretty cool sound just to, just to show. Um, let's keep going. Right here, I think it's just like, yeah, stirring liquid. So I got that off of Epidemic Sound. So let's listen to that really quick. And then this one. So I'll play both of those. And like I said, just little things like that really brings your videos to life. And then the rest of this part right here, I didn't really add any sounds. So right here, again, it's just another whoosh to show that he's pulling the that blanket material out. And then we have that blanket sound right here. So both of them together. And then we have the natural sound of the clippers right there, so. This is another just masking clip, just like the other one that I showed you before. And then for this shot right here, you'll see that I added a whole bunch of keyframes. So what I did was I keyframed the scale, the position, and the rotation of the clip a little bit. So it goes from normal and it starts coming in, starts coming in. And just like little things like that make a huge difference. And I'll let it play just a little bit more right here. A lot of movement going on. And I didn't add any other sound effects towards the end. So that's gonna be it for the tutorial, guys. A little breakdown, I didn't go into crazy detail about everything, I just kinda wanted to show you a little, I guess, behind the scenes, you could say, of my editing and how I set up my timelines. Um, went into a little detail of the sound design. I know that's always a huge question that people have. And now you hopefully have a little bit of an insight on what it is that I do. Any questions, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer. Hopefully this video helps you guys out a little bit. And um, yeah, until next time.